Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, real quick before I start there, I recently opened the channel for some non-wrestling stuff and all of this there. The channel is closed. The backup channel there that I had, it's closed. As we speak right now, I only have this account right here. And I have my Twitter, at WJYouTube. I had some action on Twitter there. I'm going to speak about this in a moment. But first, some wrestling news. TNA Wrestling. You know, you hear about WWE 2.03, which is very low, <laughs> very low. TNA Wrestling this week. <laughs> you want to talk about low there? 210,000 viewers, ladies and gentlemen. 210,000 210, viewers. They had a delay this week because apparently there was technical issues with Pop TV, the big superstar network there for TNA, Pop TV boy. They had some kind of technical issues and apparently there was a delay of like two hours or something like this and they had to play commercials the whole time because <laughs> Pop TV was all fucked up and they couldn't even air the goddamn program properly there. Okay, hey, come look at our big show there. Four title matches on the line there. <laughs> the, the show doesn't even play, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 210,000 views. <laughs> uh, TNA. Fail after fail after fail after fail. It just never ends there, huh? And it doesn't get any lower than this. 210,000 viewers for people who think TNA is a great show there. You couldn't even watch their fucking show. That's how fucking awesome it is. Hey, we're a wrestling company with a great show. Show they, they can't even fucking play it right. What the fuck is wrong with this picture? Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, Al Snow. Apparently, Al Snow said something about hating wrestling fans. He hates a minority of wrestling fans. Pretty much people that have a different opinion than him about TNA there. That's, that's pretty much what it is. A minority of complaints and... Uh, Whatever, he hates wrestling fans there. And I saw him talking about the Bible on this Twitter. So I sent a little comment just for fun to Al Snow there. I said, Jesus says that if you hate people, that makes you a murderer in your mind. Okay? And I said, so if you hate wrestling fans, a bunch of wrestling fans then, you would be a mass murderer in the eyes of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I have lots of atheist viewers and stuff who don't believe that, but Al Snow believes it. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about the Bible. That's what it says in the Bible. Oh, I only hate a minority. So I'm like, you know, you would still be considered a murderer. <laughs> In the eyes of Jesus, I had him in the religious headlock, ladies and gentlemen, and he couldn't get out of it, you know what I'm saying? Then he's like, oh, you're casting stones or whatever. And in the Bible, Jesus says you can't cast stones, like in the hypocritical kind of fashion, you know what I mean? And I said, I don't hate anybody, I said... I just hate TNA, the company, you know, just trying to get a little TNA chat going with, with Al Snow there. And then he's like, oh, you want to murder TNA? 
You want to murder TNA, which is going to help people. I said, a company is into person, so I wouldn't be a murderer. And I'm like, I'm like, and besides, TNA is already dead. I mean, he's, I'm like, it's on life support, this company. Then we started talking about money in TNA there. I'm talking about how... You know, they're losing money, this and that. The company's going downhill. And he's denying this, denying the obvious. Oh, you're not backstage, he says, using that bullshit. I said, there's lots of TNA wrestlers that were backstage. They had to leave because they couldn't get paid and shit. I'm like, these guys were backstage. They're saying there's money problems, so... And then I talked about other stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I, I was listing a bunch of facts, you know, different things about how TNA is losing money, which is all true. It's all real stuff, you know? Oh, I guess you know more than I do! I'm like, I'm not saying I know more than you, but I'm just stating facts. It's all real stuff that the money is going down. You know what I mean? I said they're, they're asking for investors. Oh, everybody does that. I'm like, yeah, that's true. But, you know, they're asking for money when they're just getting kicked out of their goddamn office space. They can't even afford to pay fucking rent. They have to move in the fucking warehouse. I'm like, that's why they need money, obviously. Because they're going fucking broke. You know what I'm saying? I was just saying facts to this guy. Then he's like, oh, okay, you win. You win. You know, I wasn't looking for any kind of victory. I don't want to claim victory. But the shit I was saying was the truth. And he was straight up lying and fucking denying real concrete facts. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's like, oh, you'll be happy when TNA dies and there's no more alternative, blah, blah, blah. If there's no money problems, why is he even saying this shit to begin with? You know what I mean? Oh, you'll be happy when it's dead, won't you? You know? <laughs> but yeah. I was saying the truth and he, you know, he, he was fucking lying, you know, denying obvious facts and then he's like, all right, you win, but you're a piece of shit who, who's going to be happy when TNA dies. They're trying to make me look like an evil guy that wants to kill TNA or something, but, you know, straight up I was using facts. And Al Snow, he's a friggin' liar, denying the obvious, couldn't compete with the motherfucking truth. You know, WJ on Twitter, baby, it's a whole other experience, fuck you. <laughs> you want to see some action sometimes, or follow me on fucking Twitter there. Links in the description, at WJ YouTube. A man of fucking truth, for God's sakes, people. Spitting that motherfucking truth and Al Snow just couldn't compete with the facts there, ladies and gentlemen. Facts about TNA and biblical facts. Some of that biblical action, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. Until next time, peace.